everything that has bread praise ye the lord thank you father thank you lord for what we have heard you and see you doing in this holy platform we are so grateful father in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen a bible test for today is taking the book of second peter second peter the chapter one verse 3 and 4 second peter chapter 1 verse 3 and 4 according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertaining unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust may this word bring gratification to god almighty and give healing strength comfort deliverance and salvation to all our errors in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. A word of faith on this week edition of Faith Clinic is entitled Character Deficiency. Character Deficiency. Thank you, Father, for your word. Beloved and dear viewers, life is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. Everything in it, your spouse, your children, the health, the money, the friends, the car, name them all. They are meant to be enjoyed. We were designed for pleasure. We were created to give pleasure and enjoyment according to Revelation chapter 4, the verse 11. My dear viewers and beloved in Christ, our Bible test for today, the verse 3 says, All we needed has been given unto us by a divine power. But it is one thing to give something, and it is another thing to be a particle of what has been given. Beloved, have you observed that the good things you desire to do you find yourself not doing it and the evil you know and don't want to do you find yourself doing them even sometimes have you discovered you really wanted to forgive and let go and to be kind but to see yourself doing the contrary? Beloved, it is simply because you have character deficiency. No matter how much you try, you cannot go far simply because of what you have in you. They call it character deficiency. A woman body with human nature or human character. It gives you what? Character deficiency. With this combination, you must behave in life. There's no way. Because it is human nature. It is human character. Look at the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. It says, For by strength shall no man prevail. With human body, this physical flesh we have, and human character or human nature, believe me honestly, you will definitely one day break down. For goodness sake. How do you expect someone with human body, with human nature to cope? 
Let's reason together. How do you expect somebody of natural body and with natural nature to cope where the person you are feeding is biting your finger? How will you cope with it? Where those you called to come and eat are the one holding your hand backward. Can you cope it with a natural nature, with human nature? Or when it is the people that you are sacrificing your life for are the first to throw stone to you? Or have you not read it? In Matthew chapter 10 verse 36, Matthew chapter 10 verse 36, our Lord Jesus Christ said, The man's fools, the man's worst enemy, shall be the of his own household. It is for real. Where parent does not invest or show interest in the talent of their children. Where your family are not your fan of your program, they are not the first to share to like. Beloved, no one on earth can cope with human nature. That was why the author of life gave us the exceedingly great and precious promise that we might do what? It's be a partaker. To be a partaker of what is called a divine nature, not human nature. So that what? We can escape the corruption that is in this world through their lust. You can escape it. Only if you are a particle of what is called a divine nature. Not human character. That we have. But God nature. God character. A divine nature. And only nature. Only character. So that it will help you to love the unlovable. To forgive and to let go will become a lifestyle unto you. Beloved, it is only in divine nature it can happen. To forgive and to let go will become part of you without struggling, not with human nature. That was why we are all called to be a partaker of this great promise, then you can look eyeball to eyeball at that your greedy and wicked friend or sibling or colleagues or whoever they might be and say like Joseph in Genesis 50, 20, 21, Genesis chapter 50, verse 20 and 21. You can confront them and speak to them like Joseph. He said, you taught it for evil for me. But Jehovah God meant it for good. Hear what he said in verse 21. Fear not. Come. I will feed and nourish you and your children. He comforted them and spoke kindly unto them. Love in Christ and dear viewers, this can only be by divine character, divine nature, not human character. Beloved, there is a character deficiency in our human nature. The earlier we understand it, the better for us. There is character deficiency in it. All we needed is to be a particle of this promised divine nature of God. So that you too can say, if I perish, I perish. So that you too can say, I know that my Redeemer lived. Nikeda came. Nikeda will return. So that you too can say, 
do not entreat me to go back. Like Ruth said to Naomi, I've made up my mind that I will not go back to my vomit. Beloved, dear viewers, it is only a particle of divine nature who can say that. But with your human nature, with your human ability, you will get to a point in life where human ability has been exhausted. And you will say, like our Lord Jesus Christ, while on head, Father, let this cup pass over me. At that point, you needed a divine nature to say, I surrender. Let it be according to your will, not my will. Thank you, Father. Dear viewers, in a human nature, there is character deficiency. You will break down. Without divine nature, you can't go far in life. We are being called at this time to be a partaker of divine nature. It is the only way to escape every corruption that is in the world. If you must enjoy your life to fullness, if you must fulfill why you are created for player, dear viewers, opinions are free, but the truth are sacred. And there's nothing anybody can do against the truth. Hear it. For you to be a particle of this awesome divine nature, you must be ready to lay down your personal will. To lay it down at the cross where he laid down his life for you. It is a matter of exchange at the cross. Permit me to say this way. A bona fide Christian, a bona fide believer, doesn't have the right of will. No. When you come to Jesus at the cross, you must, you must lay it down. It is what he says we do. It is where he says we go. Apostle Paul said, we are prisoners of Christ. My dear viewers, you must be a particle of this divine nature. For with it, character deficiency can never go far. For with character deficiency, you can't go far. It can't take you anywhere. That is why we've been encouraged. That we must be a particular. It has been given. That is all we needed so that we can escape whatever it is in life. Love is the truth. Character deficiency is likely with a flat tire that must be changed before you can go further or make any genuine progress. Give all you can to be a particle of divine nature. Give all you can to put yourself within the scope and the realm of the divine nature. Even thieves and robbers are looking for an honest, well-mannered person to keep their stolen item. Enjoy your life to the fullness. You can live the rest of your life in prayer, but you must be a particle of God's divine nature. For it with it alone, it will help you to answer every question that confronts you in life. Why not just bow down your heart in prayer of agreement at this time, beloved viewers? 
don't join my faith with you. So we speak to God concerning the divine nature. You needed it. With human ability, with human nature, with human character, there is a deficiency in it. Father, we want to thank you, we want to appreciate you. Thank you for your faithfulness, O oh Lord. I've given your word, O oh Lord Father, to your children. They believe it and they embrace it. Please, O oh Lord Father, let them be a particular, O oh Lord Father, of their divine nature. Take human nature away from them. Adamic nature, Father, take it away and release your divine nature upon them so that they can escape the corruption that is in this present world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And amen and amen. I want to congratulate you. That it is spiritual transplanting in your heart in Jesus' name. And you begin to manifest. And amen and amen. Join us next week, Thursday, by His grace, for another edition of a clinic. Till then, stay connected, stay in Christ. It is in Christ alone. God bless you. Shalom.